So you went to Irving with whom? So I got two officers to go with me, uh, Johnny Adamchak and uh, Richard Stovall. And uh, being the senior officer, then I was sort of in charge of the group. En route to Irving, I decided that if we were to have to make an arrest, that we ought to have a county officer with us. So we called on the radio, requested the dispatcher contact the county and have a sheriff's union meet us near that location of the house on 5th Street. Right. And uh, we got there and waited about 35 or 40 minutes, I know, before the sheriff's office got there. Waited in the house? Or no, what? just waited in a car about a block away from oh, the house. Understand. And when the sheriff's unit got there, then we, uh, I asked them if they would kind of watch the house, and, and one of them go with Stobo and up to the house. Go ahead. I just have to check this machine. Okay. Excuse me. Let me just. Okay, the machine's working all right. Uh, <clears throat> after the sheriff's unit got there, uh, then Stobo and I and uh, a sheriff's deputy approached the front door of the house. And we got there, we could see the door was standing open. And there was a screen door, but the main door was open. And I could see some two people inside, two women. And uh, just before I got to the door, why the woman later identified as Ruth Payne came to the door and she said, well, I've been expecting y'all. And uh, I went ahead and identified myself and told her who the other two were. And uh, did she explain that? Why she yeah, said she that? went on. I said, I asked her why she was expecting us, yeah. and she said, Well, just as soon as I heard where the shooting happened, uh, I knew y'all would be out. Oh. And I dropped it at that point, I didn't question her further about that. But uh, she invited us in, and uh, once inside, I asked if uh, Oswald lived there or had a wife there, family there. She explained that he stayed there sometimes with uh, his wife, who was there then, Marina Oswald. And she introduced Marina as Lee Oswald's wife. And uh, I said, well, we'd like to talk to Marina. And she said, well, you, you can't. And when I asked her why, she said, well, she doesn't speak English. And uh, she explained that she spoke Russian and that she was a citizen of Russia. I said, well, can you interpret? And she said, yeah, I can interpret Russian language. I'm a student of the Russian language, is what she said. And so then I began to question Marina with Ruth Payne interpreting. And so I had to assume that what Payne told me was true because I couldn't understand anything with the Russian language. And uh, in the meantime, I did call Captain Fritz and tell him we were inside the house and that we were attempting to interview Marina by using Ruth Payne as an interpreter. And he said, uh, he suggested that I asked if her husband, uh, Lee Oswald, had a rifle. So then I asked uh, if her husband had a rifle and Ruth Payne interpreted and Marina shook her head, yes, he does. And so I said, well, where is it? And being interpreted by Ruth Payne, she answered in Russian, Ruth Payne said, she says it's out in the garage. And I asked her if she would show it to me. So we went to the door leading out of the kitchen into the garage and uh, stepped down a couple of steps into the garage. Mm -hmm. And she pointed to a blanket that was rolled up on the floor. And at that time I could see uh, the rifle inside the blanket there. So I went over and picked it up and it was empty. It was just the outline of a rifle in it that was still in the blanket. It must have been there for some time. Well, can you describe the blanket? Uh, I really don't recall, except it was a, I believe it was a wool blanket, but I don't recall the color of the thing. It was a, seemed like it was a plain color, maybe maybe just a dark color, like a dark green or something. But uh, It had a string or a piece of cord tied around about halfway. You could see it had been rolled up, and then about half the blanket, and it was folded over. Now it was just half its size, and there's a piece of cord tied around the uh, end of it, but you could see the impression of the rifle in the in the blanket there, and I had I really thought it was there when I picked the blanket up, but it was empty. And when I did that, Ruth uh, Payne said something to Marina, and Marina had a real shocked look on her face. I assumed uh, just by looking at her, she thought the gun was there when she pointed out. Now uh, she could have been acting, and I wouldn't have known the difference, but she did have a startled look. And